Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, this should actually be a very quick video. I just want to show you how to convert uh, a JSON file into a CSV file and vice versa a CSV file into a JSON file. And with Node Ready it's actually very very simple. So we've actually got a, a test JSON file we call test.json and I just read the file in using the file node, pass it through a, a JSON node and this converts it from JSON format into a JavaScript object and then I pass it into the CSV node and then I write it out using the file write node uh, out here to test.csv so the only configuration in this CSV node here is the actual column names which is uh, time, pressure, temperature and battery and we're going to send one message per row and we're going to send the headers once until the reset so we're only going to send the headers at the the top of the file and a new line character is a, a Linux one slash n uh, that is the default okay so let's have a look at the um, the file as it actually exists and here is our JSON file here and you can see here we got time, pressure, temperature and battery readings. These are in, in JSON format. Okay, so let's just check here. We haven't got a, a CSV test. We've got a CSV test too, but that's for the, the next one. Um, so let's run it. So if you look over here, you notice we've got a an error message here now don't worry about that that's basically the it's picked up a blank line um, you might want to put this through a, a node a file, uh, function node and clear out the the blank line but it doesn't affect the results so I wouldn't worry about it and if we go back to a file here now we've got a CSV test and if I open it up with a text editor so look at the file here we can see we got a, a head on the top time pressure temperature and battery and we've got the readings down down below okay so that's the csv file now we're going to do the opposite one thing i would say with this is that if you if i repeated that um, not only would i be appending to it because this is a set to append but besides that i wouldn't send uh, header on the on the repeat so you need to restart the the flow uh, for this to work so if you're actually going to repeat it in other words click this button again delete the file click this button again then make sure you restart the flow before you do it otherwise you won't get the header on top because it's set if you remember it's set to actually send it once until message reset okay so that's the JSON to CSV so now we're going to do it with test 2 we've got a CSV file and we're going to convert it into JSON so this is what our CSV file looks like basically the same as the one before so we've got the header on the top time pressure temperature and battery and we've got the readings below standard CSV file and now we're just going to convert this into JSON and if I click on the button here and then go back to the and if I open up the CSV test2.json file we see it in JSON format so very very simple very very straightforward um, if I just look at the node here there's no changes really in this node that we had before the things the crucial things to remember really is you have to have the column names in and you have to have the um, the headers sent and this is actually when you're creating the um, CSV file you need to pay attention to this here otherwise it's actually very straightforward about to set it up okay um, again the flows will be available so you can download the flows and, and, and try them out very very simple converting between JSON and CSV so if you've got any comments then leave them below if you like the video then don't forget to like it and of course if you want to get notified of new videos then 
you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.